I bought coaching from Roberto, member of K2 team, the most accomplished team in Europe right now. At the moment of recording, Roberto was rank 1 player in One Piece Ranked Sim. Session was in preparation for Krefeld Regionals and as you know I finished 7-2, resulting in top 64 placing. Roberto was kind enough to allow me to share the session with you after the Krefeld Regionals. So, without further ado, enjoy! Today, of course, you're gonna be looking at Saka. You're practicing Saka. You sent me a video of, of Saka. Yeah, I mean, if you see that, I don't know, this deck doesn't fit me or something critical, then just tell me that I'm really bad at this deck and I can practice something else. It's not a problem, but for the Krefeld, I think I will be blocking Saka because I already put some hours into it and also in OP05, so it will no, no, be absolutely. the... Yeah. So you're going to be in Krefeld so too? Yeah, yeah. Alright, alright, great, great. Uh, how I usually go about the the coaching, especially since we're going so close to uh, we're we're approaching so close to Krefeld, so we're gonna be super practical about this. What I would like you to do is, uh, of course, do some games and stream them to me. Mm -hmm. But I would I would not uh, just let you play and discuss the 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 plays after the game. I would like more an interactive session where we discuss plays together. So you you walk me through your tough process while you play, okay? And uh, I will I will also feed up uh, into feed into it and say okay I agree with this uh, or maybe not I disagree and so maybe we can have a more interactive session when mm. uh, we yeah, share perfect. Our and go about it. Okay. Um, and do we play yeah. against each other or because I think it will be easier? I don't know how it's your experience, but uh, people sometimes quit when it takes too long for, for the turn. No, I like to play on the ranked sim because people will not quit because of course there is points on stake, etc. Mm -hmm. Also, I don't, like, I don't want to... I don't think we're going to take too long for playing. Of course, we want to avoid taking too much. To so, okay. red purple. Red purple, low. I want to go in this matchup. Yeah, I'm not sure to be honest now. Second? Yeah, I think second is fine. I guess this matchup. Second, yeah. Okay. Second so, is fine. Second. So, I would mulligan here because, yeah. Nothing yeah. really to play. Yeah, I hear you. I don't know. Maybe we are a little bit delayed. Some, some delay, yeah, might be. Okay, much better. Yeah, the easy mulligan. Yeah, yeah. Here, play Tashigi. Should I wait until you confirm, or should I just play because I don't know with the delay now? No, no, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, play, play. Yeah. All right, all right. I mean, Borsalino is not incredible against the low red purple just because he can back to black so easy. Mm. But uh, probably would have considered not so brand new here since we already have Vina. But but yeah. Yeah, that, I was, was considering this? brand new for the next turn or, or Borsalino on curve here because we go second, yeah, yeah, yeah. so that was the, the thought process. Um, Borsalino. For the trash here, to be honest, early in the game I would trash Virgo here from effect. Yeah, we can either trash... Uh, uh, we don't have other reducers. Uh, I don't know if we could even trash uh, Sabo here. Sub or Virgo, yeah. Just trash Virgo, go about your uh, your uh, initial idea, yes. Okay, nothing turned. Uh -huh. <laughs> <Pass. clears throat> yeah, this is what was. So do we have Usual a time limit? Stuff. Time limit here or no 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 no. Okay, first swing I would take to have some more options. This is the first life. Yeah, yeah, we get. Exactly, exactly. I guess the red purple, which are good things for life. If it would be blue, no... or maybe if you would be threatening the, the the blocker load, then maybe not, but... Okay, so what I can do here... Yeah, I can play Borsan Curve, but he can clear it. I don't, I don't I understand why we are lagging, but uh, here, of course, we took Borsalino to play it before, so mm. we're, we're taking Borsalino, and then we have, we're have ditching something, probably it's going to be one saddle. Yeah, and of yeah course, I don't, I don't need to, but let's ditch first, right, to see. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Kuzan will be better here. Yeah. Okay. You're playing Kuzan, right? Yeah, two copies. 
I will show you okay, the, okay. the list after the, the game. I have two Borzalinos, two Cousins, and two Sabo. All right, all right. You didn't swing? Ah, uh, yeah, my bad. I was, I was talking and press uh, okay. pass out you, of you the... Can yeah. Bring there could be me uh, there could be an argument about starving lurid purple but now we trade you you're not really doing it anymore mm, yeah okay here i counter mm -hmm. mm, either with i think we can keep brand in case we need to search for something but the same argument is for the sabo but i think next turn we need to clear the board so i can yeah, counter with sabo true. here yeah, 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 we can do that. Next turn, we're probably gonna play Hina on Blitz. Yeah, yeah, that's that's my thinking. The second one, I would also counter. The question is, uh, do we counter with Virgo or with Brand New here? Or probably we could even, probably we could even ditch Brand New here, honestly. But mm. even Virgo is okay because you're still discarding one card. But there is uh... also an argument if I want to block with Borsalino. Because he's reduced already. Yeah, it's true, but it might even be that he no. Uh, it's great because he should have already bought that it. Uh, because if he wants to attack seven after and and then use effect, we can block on the seven. Yeah, I think there we keep countering. Okay, so we counter uh, with Brainu, right? Yeah, I, 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 we can even counter with, with Virgo and keep our open. open. It's still mm. one count only, and it's fine. Or okay. not use the GK. And if you just, uh, if you attack seven, we can uh, just uh, ditch uh, Porosa. Yeah, yeah, because he still back. needs to to return the dons, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, so he Excellent. jam, we block. He gets no value. Yeah, and this jam we can block. Even though it's weird, us play it's very and, weird. And no yeah. play, no. Okay. Yeah, he does not bottom deck anything. Okay, what do we have here? Five, he's also five from the effect. Um, six downs. So, probably Hina, swing. We are left with one down. So nothing to do with it. But we can trash um, Helmepo, in my opinion, because we have Moria already. And maybe yeah, yeah, we, we get can... Tashigi. Another thing we could do was would be Renial Mepo on the blades. But uh, I would rather play Hina here just for the body. For the yeah, for the five kings. Since it didn't bottom deck anything before, maybe it sticks. Yeah, we can reach her map for here. And then we do nine on the on Yeah, yeah. Tashigi okay. here. Okay, Tashigi is good. Let's play first Tashigi here. Okay, let's see. Eruption. Only target eruption, actually. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so yeah. We, we can only get uh, eruption anyway. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Luti, I play only three, so I have to bottom deck now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. At this point, I think we can even eruption on the blitz and play the brand new. So we first play the brand new. So we go wider, yeah, more. sure. Yeah, first, no, first, and first brand new? You yeah, yeah, say. brand new. Yeah, yeah. And what is the, the reason for the brand new before the eruption? Because I would actually draw with eruption first. What are we gonna draw with with eruption? I like. Is there something that changes our play if we draw with eruption? No. Ashiji. Probably no. Ashiji. Unless unless we draw the um, uh, yeah the new card the event the the sword, then we can yeah, bottom deck both. Yeah, Murakumo. Murakumo, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. No, but we we still couldn't because they get to two edge two edge with swing. Ah, we yeah, play. because because we have only one eruption, we cannot play the the reducer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, in this spots uh, does not really make any difference because also brand new is not searching anything for the next uh, turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, but but, but we can trash Moria, for example, with brand new. In my opinion, we have already yeah, but, one, but, but yeah, but mathematically, it really does not make a, a shot. Moria could be even the for, in the first card or in the fourth one. Mm -hmm. uh, Mathematically, it does not really change a lot, but I think we can draw first with with interruption just for a, just because it draws one and then brand new searches. Mm -hmm. But it's literally very very little difference. Okay, so let's draw. In this specific spot, yeah, great interruption. Okay, okay. So we minus here, right? Uh, just to be sure that yeah, we yeah, that yeah, we yeah. bottom the yeah, game. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shirai has to go. It's more relevant. He has to do this cheaper, but... We swing first we or we want Brenu first at this spot? In your opinion? Or doesn't yeah, really we can Brenu first. Just because if he fans on the blades again, we don't give him more information about our hand. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Um, I say Suru eruption. Mm, we are going second, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it does not really find a lot of spots in this matchup. Yeah, because uh, everything is cheap. Yeah, Great yeah, eruption yeah. draws a card. We have to yeah, put yeah, out in hand. So I would pick yeah, eruption. Yeah. Exactly, I will go for eruption, yes. Okay, and now we kill. Yeah, now we kill, yes, yes, yes. Okay, yeah. And off we go. So what do we have in the trash at the moment? Okay, here okay, we go. Uh, the raid room. And we still don't have uh, Luchi in trash for Moria play. Mm -hmm. A7, yeah, we need to, we, we must take, so. Yeah, the 7 we can just take. Oh, here is the loot tree. Okay. Okay, A down, but instead of Moria play to clear the board, we can, we can eruption Hina, Luchi. Right, we, we don't because go that, for Moria here. Do we also have map in the trash, right? Yes, we have map in trash. Uh, Luchi in hand, we can trash him and play Moria, but then we are not clearing both, right? Because we have eight done only, we were going second. Yeah, so we yeah, minus yeah. one, yeah, Helmepo minus three. So I would play Eruption into Hina, into Luchi, right? So we clear both. Yeah, we can clear both, and we, and then, then the next turn, what we do in the, with the Moria? Because Luchi probably gonna get bottom depth, is a pack, is gonna get bottom depth for sure. Mm. Then next turn, more for value, no. I think here we ditch first and we're for sure ditching Borsalino. Uh, no, but of course we cannot ditch first because there is still the option of uh, Lucci. Mm. Because then more next turn has no clear and it's a little bit awkward. Mm. Instead, if we develop here the piece here first, more is also going to be able to swing on his next turn. It's going to be a big body. Yeah. And something and, will yeah. stick anyway because he he can't clear everything. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, yeah, I think here these two lines probably developing the Moria instantly here is a little bit better just because it's gonna stick and it's also gonna help us clear the mm -hmm. turn after when he swings with Ray. So I would also probably teach the Luchi first, see what happens, and then go for Moria and Mepo. We have a Mepo in the trash, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, two okay. quick counter. Mm, but we swing first, right? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. in case they trigger something, it's it's red. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it doesn't uh, matter what. Ah, when attacking. Okay, so we clear uh, Beppo. Yeah, yeah, we clear Beppo exactly. Okay, they take. Mm, yeah, bottom decking events, eruption, hound blaze, and ice age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's it. And that's it, yes, yes, yes. Mm. Otherwise, Hina, Tsuru, Luchi, of course, clears both of them, but then we have no more clears. How many Amanamura Warrior you playing? Uh, one. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, 5k, I would just counter with Virgo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can counter both the swings. Just to keep uh, Rebecca in case we, we need to use it. Mm, here the same, I think. Just to stay healthy. Counter yeah, with Virgo. Turn, yeah, next, next turn we have clear anyway. Mm -hmm. Because uh, Rage we're gonna clear with swings. 
Uh, we can we can ditch Vergo. Not full clear because now he's gonna drop somebody. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could do Zoro here. Zoro seven. Zoro six. Hmm. I'm sure he done the low. Yeah, yeah. And bottom deck in Kluchi, obviously. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Another Moria. Moria here does not clear the yeah, right. Doesn't, doesn't help because we have nothing in, in Trash. Yeah, nothing to clear with. Yeah. I think, yeah, we can for sure start ditching Hina. Or, or even Moria. No, Hina probably. Hina. Okay. Then Trash Hina, right? But yeah, yes, we can always recuper with uh, Rebecca. With Rebecca, and if we draw Lutri or whatever. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But it's Handblades, but still good um, for the clear. Yeah, we have to decide if we want to clear with Porcelino or with Handblades here. Uh, or even... But, but we can clear with, with both, right? Because we are at 10, 10 Dawn, or? Yeah, we are at 10 yeah, Dawn. Yeah. So, Greater option, yeah. Well, actually, yeah, you're right. We can do greater option, hand bits, and then mm. we're saying, okay, how would you do about the order in this? I would go eruption first into low, yeah, then pump with hound blaze, swing uh, yeah. with leader, um, Reju to bite the, the block but reduce the the captain, and then yeah. follow <laughs> with um, Borsalino bottom yeah, yeah, deck, okay. whatever sticks, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I was a little bugged here. Oh, here. Yep, yep, yep. Buff, bottom, swing, whatever yes. happens. <clears throat> yeah, that's not okay, much. Now remove so they don't block and just yeah. swing. Yep. Okay. Okay, another blocker. You still leave it. We still have Ina in the trash, so potentially next turn if we find removal, we still remove, we're still removing everything. Yeah. We have no searcher in the trash, no right? So if we do Moria, find this. The searcher? I think we don't have a searcher in trash. I think he bottom yeah. decked. All right, all right. And <clears throat> so he recycles. Um, We take, right? Yeah, seven we take. Seven is too too big here. Yeah. And now if they follow, ah, they already did. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> mm, okay. Draw. Let's see. So we have no clear from an uh, card. So trash first. Yeah, we're getting in a end game kind of spot here. We could even push. Let's see. Uh, first of all, realize that this is uh, an endgame spot. Mm -hmm. uh, we want probably we want to end in two turns mm -hmm. from here because yeah, it's too light and we have uh, so many big bodies, so we can really accelerate the game. What we are, what we also understand here, we're not with our next turn. Next turn, he has six down, he can do seven, mm -hmm. seven, eight with uh, with even at Zoro, he could do. Seven, he could do seven, seven, seven and seven. He could do seven, seven, seven and seven with Zoro. Mm -hmm. Bottom decking our Rebecca, for example. Rebecca would block first. So here, for example, if we place two blockers, if we were to place two blockers, if if we find a clear, it's GG, I think. Mm -hmm. Because there, there is no way he ends the game. Um, even in two turns, and we push even for further. Like hand blades here is incredible because we can do Rebecca, Kina. Uh, Borsalino, uh, Hound Blades, push with everything, mm -hmm. bring him to zero life, and GG. But here, simply, even if we just do Rebecca, uh, or Rebecca Hina, because we don't need the counter, Borsalino, and uh, and go for, uh, and and push with everything, seven, eight, nine. I think we're ending the game here. Mm -hmm. We but need to sure, find removal, right? No, not not even. But for sure, we're we're ditching Gecko Mario because we're not playing it anymore. Yeah, no, here. no time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, Trash Mario, and we have just Borsalino. Borsalino clears a piece, which is okay because with Borsalino, 
we clear, for example, kid, then he has two pieces on the board, he has six done, he can do eight, uh, effect zero, six and seven. And six and seven, we, we can counter with, with the cards that we have in hand, for example. So even more Salino could be a good option. But let's start with seven leader and see, and see what he does. Seven leader, this card, the, the, the uh, So just by, by done attachment, seven swing yeah, yeah. minus uh, blocker, yeah. right? Let's see what he does, yes. We can we can first start with the swings and then base our play around that. Oh, he reacts, okay, because he has still six cards. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I think both the plays are winning here. Okay, so he counters here. Question is, okay. do we remove the the kid? No. I I uh, uh, let's first attack and let's see what where we where, where we get with the life. I think if we do nine here with Kiko Mario first, let's see what he does. It, it takes life probably. So, so better nine, better nine. to swing with Moria here than with um, Borsalino? Yeah, yeah, because we keep our option open with the eighth dawn, so we can still do Rebecca, uh, Rebecca Borsalino play. If he blocks, we just clear everything, we're super fine. But honestly, here, just both the games, both the plays are winning, because mm -hmm. here, if we do Borsalino instantly, for example, we do 9-9, nine nine, push him to zero guaranteed or even to one with uh, with how many cards in hand, uh, to nine with two cards in hand, and one life and two cards in hand is always over. So yeah, really, we can just do you know, now. Let's do Borsalino and nine and nine. No, no, I mean, Borsalino on the key, the nine and nine. It's just over. Okay, Borsalino on the key, the nine and nine. Uh, ah, Borsalino okay. said bottom okay. deck. Okay, the bottom, you can put him on zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And don't if you can't give it two cards in hand the next day, the next turn is over. We are doing this because we know that we have the counters for two mm -hmm. for whatever it is next turn. For because he can best turn, eight, yeah. He can, he can either do eight and eight, and we counter eight and eight. Uh, or you can do, for example, eight, eight and five, and we counter that. Uh, uh, or you can do eight, seven, and six, and we counter that because we can, we can take the eight and counter the seven and six. So there, there is no way he heals us here. and. Uh, and yeah, for example, even if you place Arbogast and Zor, non so it's just bad because it's 3 down for a 5 swing, 6, 6, and 6, uh, 5, 6, 6, and 6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is no way he kills us here. And so... Okay, so 7 will be the lowest? No, actually. Seven. If we, if we don't uh, um, if we don't counter the seven, it will be you'll nine. You'll follow with nine, yeah. So then, then we are dead if we don't draw uh, counter or no, nine, nine we can no, no, we can nine counter. we can counter, yeah. Then we will die from zero. Yeah. It said if we counter the seven here. Okay, counter here. Then we can do seven and seven. Oh, actually, uh, we counter with uh, Helmepo here yeah. or Borsalino, or it doesn't matter. It does not matter here, it's counters. It does another seven. Oh, no, actually, you can do seven and uh, then another seven. So we still need to get a one counter. Okay, mm. okay, it doesn't matter. But, no, but actually, here, here uh, I miscalculated a, a little because he could have done seven, 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 okay? Right? Yeah, because he can attach and then return. Yeah, and attach to, yeah, yeah. to Zoro. Right? Yeah, yeah. Right, so, yeah. of course. Yeah, so the best way to go for him would have been 7 and 7 and 7, which means we would have needed to get 1k counter from That life. we had, fortunately. In but... this case, we had, but of course, it does not really matter. Mm. We, have to play, we have to play, uh, have to do the best play based on our information that we have. So in this case, uh, let's say we didn't, we didn't play Borsalino, but we ended up playing Rebecca, uh, Rebecca Borsalino, mm -hmm. without even actually, uh, uh, we didn't play Borsalino 7, we, we ended up playing Rebecca Borsalino, and Rebecca gets back a 2k counter, for example. In this case... Yeah, because we would pick uh, Virgo from Trash. Uh, yeah, we would, exactly, we would have picked there. We had the 2k, 1k in hand, then Rebecca becomes a 2k, and becomes a 2k, and Borsalino is on board. So, uh, we have Rebecca Borsalino as blockers, and we have 2k, 2k, 1k in hand, but he's still a kid. Mm. He's still a skid, and really the pushing him to zero does not really matter because he dies anyway next turn. Uh, because, uh, I mean, he would not have blocked with kid anyway, otherwise he he, he can never close this, this 
external. Mm -hmm. So it was affecting the life on the eight or counter. So we will still be in a situation where he has uh, one life and three cards in end or, or four. Can't remember correctly. Anyway, the next turn with so many big bodies, we're always closing you. Mm -hmm. So with Rebecca Borsalin on the board uh, and Kid, he could have done, uh, he, does not, uh, he does not start with effect first. So it was seven leader. We block and we can, Rebecca. We can, we can block, we can free block with Rebecca. Then let's say he goes Gordon effect and he bottom decks Borsalino, Borsalino. And, he mm. plays, and he plays a Zoro and he rams one Don for Kid. So at this point he has four Don and he can do seven, six and seven, 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 six and seven. He can do seven, six and seven. And we could, even, we, we could have easily countered that because we have 2K, 2K, yeah. 1K. That, that, Six and seven yeah. with counter and seven we take. So it was a uh, better line actually, kind of. It, yeah, Ma because mathematically, we we... because we had it in hand instead of relying on a counter from the life. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And uh, and uh, the uh, the only difference here was that uh, we was not we have, we would have pushed a little bit less mm. um, because. Uh, we actually we would have only pushed seven, eight, and nine instead of seven, nine, and nine. He would not have blocked it anyway because he cannot block with the kid there. Uh, and he still had to try it out because the, the turn after he always he, he dies from anything uh, from a, any reduction uh, bottleneck easily, and yeah. then probably probably dies anyway. Uh, mathematically with the pieces, pieces that we had in board. So he had to try lethal. So the blocker is not a, a, effectively a blocker anymore because he has to attack with it. And so next turn we are always close, closing, even if we don't uh, develop the Borsalino. Mm. He's in the situation where he needs to decide if he commits to end the game and takes the club back next turn or keep the blockers but die to removal in a way and not trying to finish the game so both bad spots for him yeah exactly exactly so yeah the, those end games are really like uh, either you you want to go for finish or you keep grinding your opponent based on uh, what is the most success rate uh, um, option for us mm. uh, and against uh, red purple low and and the rage we can kind of map the turn because we see mm, how many dons they will they will have. Uh, yeah, but I guess I really, no I guess the really early deck we can map for what is, what are the best. Yeah, uh, okay. To be fair, yeah, but like here they have this limit because they they were reducing the turn before. Then that's my point that they yeah, have yeah, yeah. theoretically weaker yeah. turn. Yeah, yeah, of course they have less dawn uh, and uh, and so they're they're weaker in this kind of spot. If you, if they had ten dawn. Uh, would be way more would be much, much different yeah that's that's my point uh, i will show you the the list maybe because you you asked yeah so i have just quite a basic one from uh team seafood king patreon mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah um uh, lately i was debating on the borsalino whether or not it was good or not uh, mm -hmm. in the meta i don't love it but it, i i find that it's incredibly important against gecko moria so i i put it back in my deck too Mm, yeah, the uh, same reasoning because I think Moria will be like um, flavor f flavor of the month. Let's say <laughs> a lot of players yeah, yeah, exactly. will, will bring it's him. It's definitely going to be overrepresented, and Borsalino is super strong against Moria. Uh, various reasons, not only because it's a, basically an extra life for you because you cannot go get over it, but also because for how many how many cards it saves you during the game mm. because. He's gonna attack a lot of fives, fives, fives. A lot of fives, and, yeah. Only six K will be leader, right? Or six or seven. Yeah. Right? Depending. Yeah. And then we do it's gonna basically get a free card. Mm -hmm. And so it's incredibly strong in the matchup. Incredibly, incredibly strong. So I added it uh, back in the deck too. Um I'm just playing two more Akumos because I feel they are broken. Okay. I guess and what do you cut or for it? From here, let me check. Uh Oh, actually, you're playing three Rebecca's too. Mm -hmm. so three Rebecca, Rebecca, three Lucci, three Rebecca. Three, three, yeah, I'm, three. Playing four, I'm playing for Rebecca because they're, I mean, I have a kind of a uh, uh, tilted way of seeing Sakazuki because, of course, I'm playing a lot of Reju and Rebecca is absolutely broken against Reju. It's a pain in the ass. 
Um, in other matchups, it's also incredibly strong. I guess Mori is strong, like Rebecca is really, really strong, so I'm playing that four. Mm-hmm. And then from here, I'm probably not playing... I Actually, I'm not playing one great eruption, I'm, I'm at three great eruptions. Okay, so you cut eruption to... to for Rebecca. Mm-hmm. For Rebecca. And then... Uh, what I'm missing, actually? Helmepo? How many Helmepo you play? One or two? Ah, uh, yeah. I, actually, yes. I'm playing one Helmepo only mm. because when really when you don't play stage, uh, it really uh, a lot of the a lot of reduces that a Mepo does are actually like the tree over Mepo is actually overboard. Like it's useless, and the two will be just fine. So you just take two instead of a Mepo it does the same thing. For example, clearing Gekomoria will be with another blades will be minus four and minus two. And so a mepo is useless there. Mm-hmm. Uh it's very rare. Like uh there are very, very rare rare, rare, rare spots without stage and mepo uh as a as a clear or the as an important uh, minus three. Otherwise minus two is always the same. For example, mm-hmm. if you have if you have stage uh, you can uh, minus Gekomaria with Hina. I'm, I'm talking of the combo, for example, Gekomaria, Hina, Rebecca, Rebecca, and Mepo. You can minus two minus four on the Hina, uh, on the Gekomaria, minus one with leader on Gekomaria, minus one with stage on Gekomaria, and it's two, and then and Mepo minus three on a piece, and then and it's one. And then is where uh, a Mepo becomes important because you can have more room on both the pieces. Mm-hmm. But other than that, Man, very very often the minus two will just do the same job as a map would have done and so because of that i decided to cut him to one uh, because i'm not playing stage and so it's not really that incredibly strong okay and then let's say if your opponent your opponent play um moria on curve and he goes uh luchi helmet how do you answer it then because with Helmepo you have clear answer. You play your Moria with Ice Age, Lutri yeah, Ice Helmepo, right? Yeah, yeah. Ice Age Helmepo. Yeah, that is of course that, that is of course the nine turn is like the the tough spot of the list when uh, when you're playing the list like uh, we we were playing it with a stage and uh, and actually we were playing also two Luchis. That spot is a uh, is a little bit uh, uh, so, more. So tough. your list is with the stage. Did I understand correctly, or? Yes, but okay. uh, we're, like we're currently trying the outer, like in the mm-hmm. stage because of the things that I told you before. We're also playing more Murakumos. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I uh, saw both lists, like uh, yeah, one with one without yeah. the the stage. Uh, but, but I don't uh, think I'm skilled enough to to pilot the. The stage one, I, it's a little bit more not, big brain. <laughs> yeah, but it's not really about skill stage. Actually, um, Ar- like Arbol, Arbol, Arbol be the, the, the things are just the same. It's, uh, it's just a lot of uh, personal preferences sometimes. <clears throat> uh, with, uh, when, uh, for example, we are playing less, less Lucci and less Metpop, so that turn becomes a problem because, of course, the 9 down turn, we have uh, uh, Ice Age and Moria. Mm-hmm. Map pollution is very, very, very strong. Uh, the nine down tour without this uh, this setup becomes uh, sometimes uh, Ina Rebecca, Ina Rebecca, Ina Amarumarakumo, for example, with stage. Yeah, 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 I got you. But uh, for example, in some sta- in some uh, in some tryouts, we were not even playing Ice Age anymore because it's actually very, very important only in that nine turn. And if you reduce the, the map post there, then it becomes less relevant of a nine down turn because it's less consistent. Mm-hmm. So we're also betting the ice age. Um, but yeah, like currently in the meta, uh, Sagazuki can do a lot of things. For example, you can play pudding, and pudding is very, very, very strong. Mm-hmm. That's a tech card. Yeah. Uh, and if you're expecting a lot of mirror, you can play that. It really depends what you're mostly touching uh, about, uh, taking about. Because I feel like this this list against Gekomar is doing very, very good. I guess Reiju maybe is is, is doing a little is doing a little less good uh, because you have a lower amount of Amanora Humos. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we need to rely on Hina Houndblaze and so on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
um, but yeah, strictly for, from 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 the, from this list, I will probably just do Great Eruption Rebecca. You mean cut eruption. cut one eruption, add one Rebecca, or yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. I will probably just do this, but pretty much that. Let me see if I can pick up the list I'm playing right now. Mm -hmm. I'll show it to you. No, no. So the oh, if you're playing two ice stage, probably Maple Maple Amanomaragumo. Because Amanomaragumo, do you feel how strong it is? Also against yellow, is incredible. I'm really liking Shu. But besides that, that's pretty much it. In the meantime, let's uh, uh, join a queue for another game so we don't waste time searching. Mm -hmm. There was also one list from the from Noel where he cuts yeah one eruption and one Helmepo to add mm -hmm. um, Rebecca and Lucci. So he has four four and keep free Hino. So he, mm -hmm. he cuts like that. Okay, so yeah, let's search for okay, the now. game. Uh, here, okay. I'm not loving the Luchis either. I feel when you're playing Churchy and Managumo, Luchi becomes uh, less relevant. I'll keep the list for now, for, for the next yeah, yeah, game yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and once you... Yeah, let's go in this room, absolutely. So let's see, Mirror. Okay, in Mirror, the, the classic, I would go second. Yes, 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 yes. And keep. Yeah, Agree? Fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Pretty standard Tashigi. 2k counter. So on my turn, I am playing Brenu first, be before the trash. Yeah. And Thank unfortunately, you. it's a whiff. Yeah. Okay, what do we trash here? So we have two reducers. Um, one removal and two Borzalinos. Trash one Borza here? Or are because we afraid right. of uh, trashing counters because we have only two? Yeah, the question is also about the Borzalinos 7. Because we are in uneven curve, uneven, so yeah. it uh, naturally drops uh, way less uh, frequently. Borsalino, as of uh, right now, we could even think about dropping it uh, back to back on turn 4 and turn 6. Mm -hmm. Depending on how our hands rate evolves. So, as of right now, what we're seeing, I would probably drop Borsalino 7 here. Borsalino 7, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What you will have dropped, Borsalino 4? Yeah, I, I was uh, debating between Borsalino 4 or Borsalino 7 because it was our only removal in hand. But I think yeah, we yeah, still yeah. have time to, to draw more removal and now we have Hound Blaze, so. Yeah, it's also true that it's it costs a lot. We will we'll, we will have reached the level bond after a lot, of course. <clears throat> yeah, we, we still have two turns ahead before the Adon turn that yeah. he would be relevant. Yeah. And they pick Hound Blaze as well from Tashigi. In Trash, they have Virgo Hino. Yes. Okay, Gem 7, take. Okay, Kuzan. I would play Kuzan on Curve here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> even two. <laughs> uh, but swing first. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, cools on. And probably drop another one. Uh, I don't think so that we are playing another one. What, what would I mean, you do? It's still less to say. I feel even on turn six, I would rather drop, drop another cools on rather than another Borsalino. Mm -hmm. Just stronger. And. Uh, at least it will cycle our our hand instead of just getting the clean reduced, uh, okay. removed. So I will drop Borsalino here. We keep our buff option open, and it's probably better to just keep, to just play with the next turn. Okay, so we trash one Borsalino. Yeah, I will trash one Borsalino here. Okay. Okay, yep. we have all the spells in the deck in our hand at the moment. Mm. Maybe later you can tell me if you have some cards that you would never trash, let's say, like some priority list, or do you go on the on the go, if you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, usually of course depends a lot on the matchup. Mm. So pri the, 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 the priority list of the cards depends on the matchup that we're playing, of mm. course. Okay. Okay, they Eight. push. We must take. Yeah, yeah. Okay, reducer. So here, do we have another? Uh, does he have another Hina in trash? Yep, he has one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. 
Okay, um, so we can swing, reduce Hina, pump Brenu, yeah, yeah, yeah. bottom Hina, push, and Kuzan. Yeah, yeah, it's probably what I will, I will do also. And uh, we also have to decide what we want to try, what, want, what we want to teach. Uh, probably we can teach Hina here since we have so much uh, redu redu reduction anyway. Mm. Okay, so let's start with Trash, right? Yeah, yeah. You know. Okay, another okay. one. Okay. Okay, so I said, uh, actually, is there an argument that, because we decided on our play anyway, that uh, dropping Kuzan before trashing would be smarter to see what we draw? You, you know what so I mean? Yeah, yeah, no, of course. Uh, I mean, what changes our play here? I think here, Hina is always a good teach, but. Uh, yeah, probably ordering wise, uh, there could be a uh, because I actually what we could have discarded Borslino Seven if we draw Borslino Seven. Mm, for, yeah, that, that's my point. That maybe some other brick, let's say, and we yeah, still yeah, have yeah. a turn with um, Hina, Luchi, whatever, if we need to. Because if we draw. Uh, Are we afraid of them pushing on their turn with Hound Blaze now? Or it doesn't really matter and we drop Kuzan anyway? Because it's, it's you're, thinking about, you're thinking about doing Luchi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for example, because we have a lot of removal anyway. Mm -hmm. We and can it, kind of... Turn it, goes, it goes at 7. Yeah, 7 don't turn. So what he could do for if we if we if he decided to go for a hand blades turn, he could do greater option hand blades five, five and six. And we have that, one K counter that, in hand. We are going to one, right? Yeah, but that is a super ugly turn. I think next turn he will just go. Did he add something like Borsina Seven? Because if he added Borsina Seven, he's always going. To Seven, mm, anyway. Beyond curve. Okay, then just play Kuzan. Uh, yeah, yeah, but if we have information of Borsalino 7, we're doing for sure. Let's do it anyway, because that's not the uh, uh, other time. But I think there is a, an argument, but only if you think that play is going to be very consistent from uh, from response from the opponent. I don't think it uh, is going to be what it is going to be doing a lot here. Plus, if you find a counter, it's still amazing for us. Yeah, that's, that's for sure, but we have found Moria. <laughs> Moria on because, because if he wastes his entire turn doing this, it's incredible for us if you find a counter. Mm. Without a counter, it kind of sucks. Okay, what do we have here? They ditch. Zoro. So 2 2 case in, in trash. We're brand new, sure. Sure thing. So yeah, probably seven, seven. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And here would and be handy. Three. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but... So, Rebecca Hinalucci? <clears throat> yeah, what are, what are our, our other options? It's probably gonna be Rebecca Hinalucci, yeah. Because the other option is just reducing, like, from events, but then we don't develop the, the blocker. And we don't care that, that we put Borsellino in trash, so I would keep bottom decking for any other pieces. Because I think he's still... Yeah. He still has no Luchi in trash, yeah, only Hina, Rebecca. Next turn he has a Night Dawn. Might be Moria, so, but... Gego Moria... Yeah, a bad Gego Moria. Yeah, I think we can Rebecca in a Luchi, yeah, yes. Five face, reduce. What do we trash here? We can, we can probably ditch one on the blades here. Because we need the reductions. Mm -hmm. And uh, we cannot ditch uh, Gaycorn or Borsalino. And only Borsalino, no. Yeah. And we have more removal than reducers, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Hmm, nice. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. 
Do we have a tool in the trash? We or he? No, we. We don't have. We have Luchi, brand new Borsa Blaze. Okay, not sure no, in there. Oh. Yeah, no reducers, unfortunately. Because next turn, of course, will be very, very good. Uh, Rebecca in a. Sorry, Gekomori, Rebecca in a back for Mm. Yeah, yeah, perfect, we because we are at, at 10 down. Yeah, I like this combo as well. Probably the best combo in the deck. It's an incredible amount of value and the removal. Mm. We also have... No, we have a searcher in the trash. We have brand new, right? Brand new, right, yeah. No, uh, two even. <laughs> mm, we don't even decide to go Moria value, but it kind of sucks a little. If he goes Moria here, if he does not do Moria here, Moria value is fine. Yeah, because his best turn here would be what? Moria, most likely, right? And Or, actually, yeah, mo depends. I know, we, we have Luchi in Trash, so unless they want to well, bottom Maria. Hina. I mean, Moria Luchi would be a, a good turn for him. Okay. Gonna, okay, I wanna so want just, to... just hard cast Hina. Ooh. Oh my oh. god. Pudding. Reshuffle. Um, yeah. Okay. So, uh, do we counter here with Helmepo? Uh, yeah, probably. We, we can counter with Helmepo. I mean. Because we are still in a range for the Hound Blaze buff pool. We also have greater option, yes. Yeah. yeah. So, let's yeah. counter. Yeah, no, I think it's the uh, Amal Morahum anyway, but still uh, remaining with true back guys in the board is fine. Okay, because he reduced Hina, yeah, yeah. He can bottom deck both, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or he can do five on five, yeah. He is pudding, but we're still over him in cards. It's incredible. Uh, okay, we are at Tendon. We have, yeah, Helmet Point Rush, but it's irrelevant now. Yeah. Um, I think we trash first here. Yeah, but it's very difficult to decide here what we want to trash. Yeah. Because uh, we might be playing Sabo, we might be playing Borsalino. Or we can start with Eruption and see what we draw. So it's an option. It's also our only reducer scene, reducer in the end. Yeah, because the other one is Tsuru. Yeah. But it's 2k. <clears throat> and they have three cards in hand. Yeah, it's true. What, what, uh, what does Rebecca have uh, in the... For, for the pickup? Um, yeah. now Luchi. Only Lu Luchi. Mm -hmm. so we can... Uh, if we really want to, we, we can clear both Pudding and Hina, but we need to use the, the Tsuru Eruption, right? Yeah, we will need the Tsuru Eruption, it's kinda... And we do Rebecca, Luchi, we clear... And we can pick... I think if we, if we do five face and it takes... We can't, we can't, we can't kind of do the, this, uh, this, this turn and set up lead up. If he counters, though, if he counters, we could, we could think about doing something like Rebecca Sabo. Don't even have Ira in the trash, Borsalino. I don't think Borsalino is amazing yet because if he, if he just clears Borsalino, then if, it also pushing gate here is not incredible without having how to blaze this in hand. Mm. So we could even probably start by ditching Borsalino here. Hmm, now looks better. Yeah, this is decent. Of course, we have Hound Blades. It's also good for the, like, the next turn to try a little. I don't think we're using it now, though. Yeah, I think, yeah, we can go 5 face and do the full combo. But first, we start with the option because we're going to do Rebecca Lucci. So let's okay. start with the so, so, no attack first, eruption, and see what we draw, right? Yeah, 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 exactly. Okay, Moria. Hmm. Hmm. Now it's much better oh. because let me check. I think I can click. Yeah, because we have the full combo. Yeah, that now that is amazing, of course. Yeah. We don't get an option. So I think it, it doesn't really matter what we minus here, right? Because we yeah, are clearing yeah, yeah. both anyway. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But let's whatever. Mm, okay, so swing six phase and combo, right? Yeah. 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 And we can Moria also... Really Moria, Moria saves the day. Save it the turn at least. Yep, okay. 
and we can even threaten Lita the next turn with we found Blaze if, if they can't clear anything here efficiently. Because last turn was weird when when he plays on on nine don when he plays like Hina into into pudding. I don't know how popular it is. Normally he would like to see Moria, right? Is he really going to play Bibo Mario with three cards in hand? He's searching. <laughs> Let's see. Now, what do I have? But still no Luchi in, in, in Trash, by the way. So and maybe he has High Sage. Didn't play any, I think. Also, if they try to push into Helmepo here, would you block with Rebecca or... Because sometimes I... And depending on the on, on the game state in that moment, but I don't think right now I would because he, he's hand. going really low on 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 uh, hand cards. Yeah, 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 exactly. Now, for example, I will block, but no, because he can just. Play with he goes, he goes yeah. he goes leader, so maybe we just take it. Is there a risk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, here we can take the resource. Yes, we also have Rebecca and some Depending, okay, he but he has one card in hand, so there is no clear here. It's just jam, block, or even two two case if we really want to. Let's calculate because it could be mathematically the next turn actually. So because once again, move, so what, what what would you do? Let's calculate a little bit because it could be that we have mathematically the next turn. Because if we start with five, mm -hmm. any counters, and we have Houndly, so we can pump Rebecca. Yeah, exactly. Then we go five. He takes seven. He takes. We have used one non, and then we go nine. He takes. Yeah, yeah. You can just here, for example. So just two two case. We we don't take the life oh, just can, in case. Yeah. No, you can. It's mathematical item, so you can just take it, whatever. Okay. Let's start with, of course, that map just because. Uh, ah, just because it's uh, uh, for Ice Age trigger. Mm. Okay, first we trash, right? A anyway, because we can uh, draw second hand blaze, right? Yeah, yeah, but okay. the material anyway, so we don't care. But yeah, trash uh, Tashiji, for example. Okay, doesn't All matter. Right. Okay, so you say mathematical little. So you would like to start with Helmepo 5 or? Yeah, 5. five. But so by attachment. Yes. So he either takes or uh, zero cards in hand, then we can uh, push the 5. five. Seven, yeah, 5, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. But I did, I did count the Chudano Once again. 5, 5, 7, then we have 7 non and it's 8. Top 9, it's 8. It's not nine. It's eight. Not nine. It's eight. Oh man, it's not. It's not nine. It's eight because we have to also use Chudon here. Then. Uh, five and Mepo is Chudon. Seven is Chudon. Then we have seven on left with the hundreds. It's eight and not nine. Uh, so it's not mathematical, but just by a one k. A little said, but otherwise, if we do. I, Otherwise, how can we also go about this game? About this, because we can even just insert. We can sabot Rebecca. Sabot Rebecca, and we are completely fine because how many on the list does he have in the trash? Plus, he has one card in hand, too. One. For well, now, just one Hound Blaze. But he has okay, one card in hand, so. Let's start with five leader and see what he does. Because if he counters, he goes to zero, we go. We go Okay, it takes. Mm -hmm. So now, then now we get seven like leader with her. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. So now it's now thirteen. So two four six. Yeah, easy. Right. Right. It's ten. It's ten. I mean. Oh, no, with ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten with yeah, yeah. Uh, hound bliss. Oh. So thirteen. Yeah. Yeah, it's thirteen. Yeah, so yes, two yes, four yes. six. Yeah. It's easy, it's easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh. 
Uh, whatever. Oh, this had to get to. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> you were also done. Moria. So, here, since it was not mathematical, we could even think on the five. If he countered, we just go right back as Abo and just disregard mm. the end and no one will survive next turn. Yeah, we, we still had the turn, and Rebecca always bring us. Uh... I think it was or say so one K counter. So in yeah, total yeah, we would yeah. have one yeah, two four but six. But once he takes five once he takes on the five and it's just mathematical. <clears throat> yeah, from, from this point was was obvious. Yeah, if he takes the five on the leader it's easy. Yep. Okay. So Playing sim only makes sense on the ranked queue, in in your opinion, for for practice. Yeah, yeah, I never, I, I never ever play sim without ranked, but mm -hmm. just because at least people in ranked are, are a little bit more focused, they're playing better. So on average, you're playing against better opponents. But of course, I would not say that your sim in general is the best way to train. It's way better if you just train with uh, a good play group, right? Yeah, a good play group, yes, and you, you also discuss, discuss plays. When you play sim, if, even if you're alone, if you're alone, do like to, with the videos you sent me, comment your plays and then re review them yourself. Uh, it's way more important to analyze your games mm -hmm. rather than play them. And so when you have a good play group, you also, it's, it's good because you do that a lot. You analyze the plays. Okay. They go first, obviously, because it's Moria. Um, yeah. We have a searcher. Uh, we have our Moria gaming, yeah. Ice Age, so we have some pieces. But uh, do we care that we don't have the the next turns? Would you keep it? I would risk, in my opinion. I would risk to, to keep it. Yeah, yeah, no, I would keep it here. Because at least we have the Shiji. She can find the second turn and last mm. game of Moria. In, the, in, the, in this matchup is very very important and, uh, and, and even I say it because ah, okay he'll go first okay, yeah. okay. okay anyway yeah. keep yeah it's a good start not the best the, the, the best but okay one piece already in place mm -hmm. for the combo okay Tashigi um okay Hina or brand new for the for the next turn right the problem is that we're seeing two, two Hinas here, so if we don't take Hina, we might uh, not see her when she becomes crucial. Plus, the, the next turn with just brand new, it's not even that. I will just take brand uh, Hina, and the uh, worst case scenario next turn, clear with uh, greater option hand blades mm -hmm. and go face. Okay, so Hina here, because we already yeah, yeah. see two. Okay, let's just arrange just in case. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but what do we trash here? Probably we can trash Luchi here. So, in your mind, the, the next turn, how do we play? Because, okay, he, he will push, play a body. So, we are clearing the next turn with uh, Eruption Hound yeah, base, right? Yeah. So, we can then trash Luchi and then we have Hina something, if we need to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we can either trash Luchi or Hina. Maybe Luchi can be strong the turn after with Ice Age Luchi. Mm. Alongside yeah. with another action, we yeah, also have the, the consideration because yeah. no, I think you, can even, you can even just ditch Hina here. Yeah, I would trash reducer because we have already three and only two removal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Again, yeah. trash Hina. And we already know that um, the next turn we are going most likely those two. Okay. Yeah. No question is yeah, Perona. Okay, so what do we trash from Perona? I think at this point Sabo? Luchi because Sabo, Sabo, no, Sabo I think we're gonna play for sure. Okay, because it's Moria, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Just... Even on even the next turn it's uh, sorry, the turn after the after. next one. Mm. It's uh, it's stronger as of right now, just seeing the Luchi here. So I will just Luchi Luchi and, and, and keep the safe consistent play of the Sabo on six down. Okay. Sub on 6 down means you cannot clear it and then we do Moria and so he has a lot of pieces to deal with and it's a mm. problem. What do we take? Yeah, makes sense. Okay. Oh, this is great. In this case we have Bursa, we can just go for Bursa. So, 
Yeah, now is the question. Do we want to clear Perona and push damage or do we want to develop Borsa on a curve? I don't have much experience with Moria, to be honest. The question is whether or not we can develop Pitasso after, because uh, if we clear Perona, um, and if we don't clear Perona, what is going to do? It's probably going to do is 6 and 7. Mm -hmm. 6 and 7 means that Borsa is not, is not actually going to take a lot of value. Because we cannot block ever. Yeah. Um, and so developing Borsa here loses a lot of value, uh, loses a little bit of value. We're for sure keeping it as option where we're at least going to drop it at six down, for example, or even with more value later. So since uh, since next turn is not gonna do anything for us, uh, Borsalino, mm -hmm. we could even consider not playing it now and and start by clearing the Perona, especially if you don't have any more in the trash. Yeah, only scenery. Yeah, yeah, I think here we can go with eruption now. The blade, yes. Okay, so we start with eruption before trashing. Yeah. Okay, where go? Mm. I think we can touch the other, uh, the other blue sheet, or maybe even the. Uh, we're not playing Sabre X, we're almost playing Borsa, you know, we could even touch the Sabre and keep our blue sheet option open because we have the Ice Age in hand. Mm -hmm. Okay, so trash Sabre first. Yeah. Okay, another piece for the Moria puzzle. Now, uh, they can trigger Ice Age if they really want to, right? So we pump Tashigi Swing first. And then yeah, six yeah, K leader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They will not trigger Tashigi anyway, but uh, I probably anyway. not. But just to be kind of correct, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. You're from Germany, right? So you're gonna be going by car to Krefeld. Yeah, by by car. Okay, they are developing Sabo most likely now. Yeah. Because they, they swing vanilla. So we counter with Helmepo, right? So we have him in trash. Yeah, yeah I know. We, we have Ice Age and away for a reduction. Yeah, we can counter the easy 5 here. And uh, then we, when we develop Borsa, you know, we can even take uh, lives uh, a little bit more aggressively because Borsa is going to be. They trash their own Borsa, Hina, Helmepo already. Okay. Yeah. Oh, nice. Another hand blitz to deal with the sub after. Mm. Okay, we, we still. Yeah, we can now attach Luchi because Luchi, next, right? turn all... next turn is yeah, Moria, yeah. yeah. It's probably going to be Moria. Not for sure, but highly high likely. Okay, probably we can play Tashiji here because we're going to do six lead and it's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Mm, another one. Yeah, probably another one is, is okay. Super strong against him anyway. Okay. And then we can go six leader and more side of the shoot. Okay. So the this line. And then we uh clear with the with the Moria when the effect is no longer active, right? Because yeah, I was yeah. thinking maybe we, we clear this turn with with Hound Base Ice Age, but Yeah, but here it's a little bit awkward to to to, to waste it. Mm -hmm. Ice Age and, and and the uh, arm blades to just clear the sub. Yeah, and he will develop two bodies, right? Seven down, yeah. Okay, six. Hmm, another one. <clears throat> but it means that, yeah, he swings only seven. Uh, block 2k or would you take for the resources? Now here we can even take for the resource here. Absolutely. We have Borsa Ino, so we can take a little bit more aggressively lives. It's fine. Okay, so now interesting turn. Ooh. That's great. Honestly, yeah. Yeah, honestly, yeah, we can even consider not going with Komori. Komori kinda of sucks unless we're going with value here. Mm -hmm. What do we have for value with Gekomoria? Of course, it's the only Gekomoria we can do is value. Yeah, we have nothing for value with Gekomoria. Yeah, yeah. um, so if we wanted to value Gekomoria, we could have considered 
blocking with Borsalino and then playing again the, again with Keiko Moria. But it was kind of ugly anyway. With Murakumo, I think we can keep the Murakumo in end because uh, we could we can do next uh, next turn. Uh, uh, Moria with uh, Mepoina and Murakumo will be very, very strong. Mm -hmm. And this turn, ideally, if, if we find another reduction, we could go for uh, double hand blitz, which will be very, very strong. So I think here I will start by playing uh, uh, Mepo, uh, sorry, brand new, yes, six, seven. If we find greater options, it's amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. And so here, how would you go with this? Six done exactly. Mm, let me see. So we have yeah one two four six. Um. So probably I said first pump with hound blaze leader mm -hmm. to swing eight reduce another one. One mm -hmm. will be bottom decked already, and then it's it's his choice if he wants to lose the sabo from combat or. Yeah, I think I would push like that. Yeah, 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 exactly. Now we can do greater action on the bit again. Yeah, depending how he reacts. I'm probably gonna take. Honestly, even if he blocks and let's go, it's fine. Like, okay, we don't mm -hmm. waste another resource. Okay. And then we got greater action on the bit. And here we have to think if we, if we want to do another eight or two fives, but I think CC has so many cards in hand and low life, we can just push another just, eight. Just eight, you say? Better? Yeah, yeah, because if he wants to counter, it's two two case. Otherwise, if you do two fives, you can just counter with two one case. Since he has solo life, he's gonna counter anyway. So at this okay. point, if you bring him to one, it's great. And if he, if he discards, it's just better to go eight. Okay, this is important to remember. Because normally when I see so many cards in hand, I would just poke instead of going one big. But maybe because he's on two, then it makes more, yeah, more value. Yeah, exactly, exactly. If he had the low, uh, higher life, then it would be different because he could easily just take the eight. Yeah, exactly. Okay, two, two, now case, right, it. and now he's five, yeah. Yeah. What do we trash? Do we even trash? Uh, we can trash actually Rebecca here because next turn we're gonna do Rebecca, uh, Gekomori, Rebecca. Oh, yeah, 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 for the Murakumo play. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The Murakumo play. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and another Ice Age. Okay. This could be decent. I think we, we always come through here, right? Especially that yeah, he's yeah. pushing the, the board, so... Yes, absolutely, yes. Here is why stage is so strong sometimes, because if we had stage on play here, mm -hmm. it would be clearing both Borsalino and Gekko Moria. Because uh, Hina and Meppo bring Gekko Moria to one, and at Attack and stage brings Borsalino to two, and then Murakumo clears both of them. Would be amazing. Yeah, here here would be perfect. And this in this spot because stage is so strong to clear eight and uh, eight and four, which is very very common in the middle. Right? But that is it really for the stage uh, for the stage thing. So, uh, exaggerate when you play a lot of Murakumo, Murakumo, it can have sense. Anyway, since we don't have stage, yeah, I, but I mean, if if it would be an order drop than Borsalino. Okay, Borsalino is unfortunate, but any other card is cleared by Luchi Helmepo anyway, right? With with Ice Age, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Yeah, we, we could have gone for we, we could have gone for that in that case, yes, absolutely. But what what do you say? Maybe we, we start just uh yeah, poking Sindri. I, I mean, I mean he, 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 what do you wanna what do you wanna do here? Because if you wanna do a Murakumo there's no sense to poke Sindri because we're gonna Murakumo Sindri anyway. Okay, yeah. Mm. Uh, if you wanna do Luchi, uh, we could do Luchi actually, but uh, um, we're wasting Ice Age, then we have Murakumo on end. I think here for sure probably we ditch a brand new because anyway we're clearing two pieces and we're not threatened by anything. For sure. Should we teach value? Maybe we can analyze what play we want to do. 
they said on uh, our next two maps. So, okay. so let's start to reach the and see what happens. Another game of Mario means uh, this turn we can uh, go to Lucci absolutely because then the next turn we will go more of map play, right? More, more the next turn. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So now we can do Lucci, so we can do Ice Age Lucci. And so we can also attack six. Yeah, yeah, then we also need to push. Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Or even since we could attack the first line, we could even attack five first, and then if he blocks, we could six. But then the ice rate offered better to just keep the standing. Yeah, now we do our ice and I lose. Matt, would you say biting the block with Borsalino would be helpful here? Or, I mean, before attacking yeah, yeah, with leader yeah, six? No, yeah, it will probably be the same for us because if he blocks, yeah, we can attack with five. If he does not block and he takes, it's the same. So it was fine to just block six and that's it. But now it doesn't change anything because he didn't block. Yes, or, exactly. Yeah, okay. Okay, minus. <clears throat> um, but we can actually take uh, brand new, right? L Luchi brand new. Uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly, exactly. We can actually take the map here. Yeah, brand new. Oh, the brand new. And brand new, yeah, yeah. for the next turn for the Murakumo. Yeah, yeah. If we need yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Because we can. We because can he's already on, on two, Sindri is at one, Borsalino, we don't touch anyway. Yeah, yeah. Brand new and Luch, yes. Um, yeah. Pach. I am always confused on the, on the sim about the sequence. Okay. Pach. Brand new first. Mm. I would take eruption okay, to hand just to have I some mean, more options or uh, probably even the counter can be fine. Or counter, yeah, because they can push. Yeah, next turn is gonna be great enough. It's, it's gonna be the, the Muragumo turn anyway. Mm. Okay, then counter. Yeah, just take the counter, yeah. Because uh, an option we cannot play next turn anyway, so it's gonna be a breaking end for at least two tools. Mm. And it's gonna normal. Any preference what would you bottom deck or not that relevant at this That's point? Bad. Doesn't That's matter, bad. right? Yeah. Just not the important stuff, but mm. other than that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we trust it was, good, it was a good looking turn and also the follow up is amazing, yeah. The deck is amazing when it, when it goes like this. Yeah, that's my point. When, when you see everything, you feel like the, I don't know, let's say red, green, low back in the, back in the days that you see everything. But if you don't or you trash the wrong stuff, then it's painful in my opinion. That's why I take coaching because it's, it's the only deck that I feel really stupid playing it, to be honest. Okay, seven yeah. we, we take, yeah, right? Seven. Or yeah, yeah, we can take. We have four sign anyway, so Okay, no, and here are. here comes the Murakumo handy for both of them. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Trash Borsa or just to collect uh, the, the counters? Yeah, 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 we can trash Borsa, yeah. Okay, so trash seven cost Borsa. Yeah. Okay, here okay. comes the counter. So now uh wait, how is it just to make the good uh sequence here? So we do Gigamori. We take okay. Rebecca. No, sorry, we take a, we take Rebecca map of course. A map of first. Reduce Borsalino, then Rebecca after we take brand new, we replace a map, reduce the other Borsalino, and we do Amano Murakumo, and then we start attacking. Yeah, yeah, but, but what do we replace on a board? That's my point, because we play Moria, okay? We, we have free, free spot. Then we play. Um, a map uh, uh, Helmepo Rebecca, or? Uh, yeah, uh, yes, yes. A map Rebecca. Rebecca, okay, so they. 
die both, and then we replace Helmepo with Hino. Exactly. Okay. Okay, yeah, let's go. This is a disgusting turn. <laughs> oh, Rebecca. Yeah, because we want yeah. Rebecca active. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just double checking. Uh, in real life, it's easier. <laughs> uh, yeah, did him. Rested Helmepo here. Helmepo first. Reduce. Pick Hina. Play Hina over Helmepo. Reduce. Murakumo both. Yeah, okay. Uh, and we win. Sure. Yeah, it was just disgusting. Okay, this turn was just. Yeah, the turn was like <laughs> it, it, it was like we, we would be stacking the deck. Was, yeah, 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 yeah. The follow up <laughs> because the, like, the, the follow up with the <laughs> second Moria is like yeah okay. What well, what can you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it was a, a master class on how to play the deck when the deck gives you the card that you need. Yeah, how to not waste the potential. In fact, can it be disgusting deck when it when it says like this? Unbeatable. Yeah, that, that's the point because I in in OPO six I, I tried a lot of them with with proxies and I like them all. But the point is when when Saka high rolls, I I don't really feel that there is an uh, counterplay because he just cleans everything. Yeah, yeah back to back he, Moria and that's over. Like it's so many down. Uh, the fact that you can uh, ice age ice age Murakumo. And clear uh, judge and red is disgusting by itself. Yeah, it, it's uh, it's on another level when you high rolls. When you have uh, all the combos in hand, it's disgusting. You can just uh, deal with anything, and uh, and there is broken. no real counterplay around it. Yeah, the only counterplay is uh, Borsalino and and, uh, and Sabo, but he but we can bottom deck them so. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. No, no, it's like absolutely broken. The fact that uh, the deck now is super consistent with Tashiji 2, Murakumo is strongest. Fuck. And, and uh, so the options to bottom deck in general are, are incredibly strong. Yeah, the, this is disgusting. The, the, yeah, the combination yeah. of blue and black. Um, and how do you feel about the Yamato matchup? Like overall, that doesn't matter if it's Fortress or Agro or whatever. Many different versions people are playing. I think we are we're super fine, I guess, the, the uh, Fortress version. But about the Agro version, uh, it's, silly, uh, it's silly about uh, seeing the cards. Like uh, if you can look at Rebecca's, you're going to be super fine in the matchup. So probably uh, kind of like against Zoro in OPO5, would you compare it or...? Yeah, yeah, it's really? very similar. Mm -hmm. Very similar. Uh, it's a matchup where you loop Rebecca's... Uh, of course, here, she's a little less important than they were uh, against Zoro. So some dynamics are similar, but I will not really say they are, uh, they are playing the same way. Mm. Here, here you have to... You, you, you just have to count out the details again and keep grinding him with Rebecca's uh, um, and returning Gekomori. the two case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gekko Moria plays Rebecca. You you flood with blockers. So he cannot really do, go, go ahead uh, on on them, so he has to waste attacks on them. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she has to attack seven, eight, and you just block with Rebecca. You keep spamming them, uh, then you win. If you don't see Rebecca, then the, the matchup becomes um, super problematic, and you probably lose but mm. if you see Rebecca I think it's easy okay and if you lose a dice because if you win the dice you go first right like there is no, no actually, question guess, or no actually I guess the amount I'm going second you're going second okay that's that's interesting yeah because uh, I think it's super linear going second it's super straightforward because the first eight you decide whether to take or not based on what you have in hand if you have a blocker uh, you're gonna take uh, I'm oh, sorry, if you have blocker, you're going to counter. If you don't have blocker, you take. Then the, to play the around Onami, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. To play around Onami. Uh, uh, then you just play blocker and you go from there. It's super linear. Also, going second curve lets you play Rebecca and curve, lets you play 
goods are more stable, you know, then Gecko Moria instantly and Gecko Moria will, will just help you close the game real quick, really quickly. Gecko Moria cycles Rebecca. So I'm loving it. Rebecca to... cycles 2k, okay. right? Yeah. yeah, exactly. And also you filter out uh, during the game, there is a lot of game cards in the matchup that you don't need. You don't need Luch, you don't need Ice Age. You filter all, all of them out. You, you, all, you, you stack up with counters in end, and in end game you're just gonna win because you're gonna have Gekko Mario in board, you're gonna end the, the turn after, and you cannot close you because you have uh, the blockers and the counters, the Hodigans, etc. If you keep if you keep counting around Hodigans, uh, Reject and stuff, and you're ahead of them, you don't die, then you're shielding. Yeah, that's for sure, when you are ahead, you are ahead, but, uh, and they are, in a sense, aggro deck. But um, yeah. if they play 8 cost kit and you ditch Ice Age and Luchi in, in between, then how, how do you answer the, the 8 cost? You, you need at least one well, Ice Age right in hand. Yeah, usually they will play the 8 cost only when they are going for lethal. So ideally, uh, the turn after they play all the jumps, you're going to be able to close the game out. Uh, plus, if you uh, the games goes develops very fast, so even if you are not uh, gonna be able to close the game after all the chance, uh, usually you're just gonna be able to uh, tank another turn of all the chance by placing a blocker. If you're if you're reaching a, a game state a game state where you think the opponent can play all the chance without dying. Then absolutely you start considering keeping a removal for it. But sometimes it goes very fast and he's got only gonna drop polygons, he's gonna have to close, otherwise he dies. And mm -hmm. so you really need to deal with polygons. Uh, but but wait, course, you, you here talk about polygons, but eight cost kit in the fortress variant? Yeah, of course I guess the fortress variant is different, it's completely different uh, approach. You have to keep the mm -hmm. uh, the answers to the key date. But you instantly recognize whether you're playing against uh, uh, Agro, Agro Yamato or, uh, or Fortress Yamato. Okay. If you're playing Based against, on what? What they play, for, uh, what they discard, the, the deck lists are completely different. Maybe five is uh, in the Bondi, the Fortress Yamato. Uh, okay, based on the. Okay, okay. The discards, the, the, what he plays, they, they play different cards, yes. Mm -hmm. So. If you know you're playing against Fortress Yamato, you're just gonna keep, keep the clear option for the kid mm -hmm. and go from there. But it's very similar because uh, early game they're still gonna try to push you, and you're still gonna have to loop Rebecca, etc. Yeah, the, the early game will be most likely the same because we are uh, for life leader, so they will just push. Uh, we play against Katakuri, by the way. Okay, okay. How oh. do you feel about the Katakuri matchup? Uh, mixed opinions. I, I tested it quite a lot, but only with with, with proxy, so not like the the best play group. And, and here is the opinion: first or second? Because I, I heard arguments for both. What is your well, I think take? I think absolutely second. We can play with an curve. Uh, the east curve is way weaker by go, going second. Mm. I think absolutely Keep second. Him? It's, okay. I mean, I, do you think you can play Moria in this matchup? Do you have time for Moria actually? When you are going second, I think you can. At first, I just ditch Moria because uh, going first, you don't really have time mm. to play it. Uh, anyway, this could be a keep because uh, in the game we don't really we don't really need a lot of, a lot of hunters mm -hmm. because we're just gonna take lives. We take him. Yeah. Okay, so I, I would keep him. just just based on it that we have Tashigi and Houndblaze. So we have first two turns easy, I would say, right? Ah, it depends. Okay, let's just keep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we can uh, we can keep. We have the easy ditch of uh, loot uh, of Borsalino and go from there. Uh, hopefully, Tashiji finds us good zone. Let's ditch Borsalino for sure. Okay, so in this case, you ditch first and then play a searcher in case we get a brand new, for example, or uh, or Tashigi first. No, I just say it without really giving attention to to, to order, uh, but uh, I would probably, since we already have a Chuke Gomar in hand, I would still probably just go for Tashiji first, just to not give information if you have to take Borsalino, but it does not really make a lot of difference. The, the only argument of about ditching first here is because if we find the brand new, we're going to play brand yeah, that, new. That's, that was my question, because we are at 2 done. 
But here we are searching, we are really searching for uh, our next turn play. So I would still play Tashiji over Brennium because uh, these two extra cards that he should we, we dig deeper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We need, we, we need that Kuzan. Unfortunately, we have nothing. In this case, we take an action because we're missing it. Greater option or a net, probably greater option is fine because we have two. So, greater option based on it that we have counter in hand. Yeah, yeah, no, no, not because we have counter in hand, but because we already have uh, the Tsuru for the Gekko Maria combo anyway. Oh, okay. You mean from the grave, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so we can get greater option there. I mean, the map is important, I guess, being more mm -hmm. but whatever. And then we can ditch now, let's see if we find another Tashiji. But Borsalino, here nothing changes. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's just yeah. the seven cost. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Is there Mario? Okay. For uh, sure, we're not done. Playing no, Great Eruption pass. here makes sense, or it's a waste? It's a waste, no, right? I think it's, yeah, it's always a waste here, yeah, for sure. Against some lo lower not... curve deck, then maybe, right? Like... Yeah, yeah, definitely. definitely. I guess, uh, for example, Zoro in Opin 05, you would uh, use the Great Eruption. Yeah, yeah, so for, for Cycle, yeah. Um, 5k we take, actually? Or do we want to stay uh, healthy for the 7 cost turn? Um... If we had the Kuzar, we would always be taking just to get ourselves over mm. Gedatsu. Uh, but since we also are missing play, I think we're, we're taking anyway here. because To we find the play. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Either if Kuzar or Salino is going to be good. And we have two, three yeah, cards. It's obviously, it's I see. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. Okay. Draw. Let's see. Okay, Luchi. Not the worst, but. Let's first ditch Kekomara, let's see what she what he gives us. Yeah, I think there is no word when where we have time to play free. Yeah, three not for sure. It's a little bit okay. much. Okay. So here we could be doing uh Hound Blades five and five, probably. I think here we first attack with brand new and see sorry, with uh, Sagazuki face. And and see what pops, the... yeah. Because yeah, there yeah. is a way to Play Luchi here? No, there is no way. No, 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 no not no. to deal with the trigger, no. Because trigger will be a four cost. If we had the Aman Urakumo, then it is what we Yeah, then, then it would be different. And that's why I play three. Okay, on Ami trigger on Tashiji is whatever. Okay. And then we can brand new here, I think. Yeah, th there is an argument to play uh, Luchi now here, I in my opinion. Like, Do we have a trigger for Once again. We have first. Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we, we have we have because they, yeah. they, they, they killed the Tashigi with Onami. Yeah, I think, yeah, it's. Uh, could I, be okay. Too. I think it's a good argument here because we are not wasting Hound Blades on, on, on nothing. Yeah. I mean, they, they will get the card, sure, but. Yeah, yeah, I think it's true, it's true. We can drop Luchi, yeah. We didn't, we, didn't, we didn't cycle yet, though, right? Uh, sure we, 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 we cycled, because we are going second. Uh, I see, see, we cycled the... The, the yes, yes, yes. Moria, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, okay but just regardless, passed. yeah. Oh my god, this was amazing. We didn't, Ooh, we didn't... and he, he weave, yeah. He, he weave with okay. the Pero. Okay, seven we take, of seven course. Seven we take... Actually, okay, we are at six done, yeah. I okay. don't even remember. Okay, so we we keep right, just just yeah, in yeah. case. No, no reason she to cannot, trigger yeah. here. No, no, yeah, no, does not do anything. And actually, we have quite a good clear if they pop something. Yeah, yeah, turn. we hope we hope it triggers. Yeah, we are hoping it triggers. Especially because we we can ask. Okay, so we have six done. Do we trash first or do we attack first? I think uh, ideally, probably, uh, what happens if he triggers? Uh, no, I think we attack first just to prepare because if he triggers, we can even play Hina. If he does not trigger, we can ditch Hina. If he triggers, we can go Hina, better mm -hmm. option, uh, Amar Murakumo. Yeah, Murakumo, yeah, yeah. But we so push with, with Luchi first, right? To play around yeah, yeah. Onami. Yes, yeah, since, since he plays, we saw he plays Onami, yes. A lot of players don't play, don't even play on Ami. Yeah, I'm surprised. In in category, to be honest, I, I didn't see uh, many lists with Onami. Yeah, I don't like Onami either in category for sure. 
in, in Yamato, sure, but... If it just must not trigger, then we can think about doing something else. Mm. We can run it first. Uh, yeah, so because we, we can yeah. still find uh, the Admiral play. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Then okay, we they counter, five. so we just five. But you are most hoping it triggers, yeah, because if it mm. triggers, we have already... Yeah, okay, game. unfortunate. I was hoping for some Kiku Nojo. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, I think here we can do brand new, and if we don't find a. Uh, but anything, brand new before we... the trash, still? I don't know, yeah, we're absolutely trashing Gina here because we're not playing yet. Okay, so, so, so now brand new, right? Yeah, any Admiral is fine here. Mm. No Admirals. There is an argument for any of these three, actually. Yeah, here now we can develop the board, right? Depending if we want to clear the the Sanji this turn, but we can also leave him leave him be or not really. They will be at I think seven. We... Next turn is mom, right? <clears throat> yeah, next turn is mom. It's it's a, it's a bit awkward for us next turn. Um, I think here we do greater option Murakumo, so we can even take the, another greater option to have another mm, in end. Yeah, the answer for the. Because uh, we keep, uh, we don't play on the blitz, of course, because next turn we do three attacks with brand new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I see it's more yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go with uh, greater option just for the sample, too. It's good. Okay, it's another hound blaze. Okay, now we, we could so have. Now is the, the argument to, to hound blaze here or? Yeah, exactly, exactly. And I will do hound blaze just to keep the option of Murakumo since we have if a lot they of reduces. Trigger something here. Yeah, exactly. So we can just clear with town a bit. Okay, and I think that's it, right? We we don't cycle yeah. the waste. We already, we already cycled. We already cycled. Oh, no, you mean no, 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 I mean yeah, because yeah. we have one done up. So yeah, no, but no, next no, turn no. is mama yeah. anyway. So we need the reducers. Then Even though we have definitely. ice age, but if he pops, yeah, 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 yeah. If he triggers, it'll be super strong. Yes. Yeah, and then we just chain the removal. Then we Murakumo. Murakumo turn. Yeah. We need the okay. It's not even mom. So it's not mom, maybe he pushes jam or whatever. Now Kikunojo. Okay, but he goes eight into Luchi. Counter? Two two case. Ah, uh, this is weird. What do you have in trash? What if Luchi dies? Luchi dies. We can bring him no, back, but we have no two cost. But we can um, trust Suru. Ditch, we could ditch Suru and then we clear, but then we but, give him life. But we give him life, so it makes no sense. I think this is the play, right? Yeah, probably, probably. I think we can ditch the Suru here and just save the Suru, yeah. So we just pressure and, and we don't let them they come yeah, yeah, so because, next turn yeah, because they are still yeah. two turns uh, before the mom, the, the big yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, we can sure. And also, we can clear everything that it triggers, so we don't really care, care about having the counters in any year. We're gonna be safe. Yeah, because we don't really need to play them more, you know. Okay. Oh, so, nice. here, again, we attack first with five and six and see what it triggers. Mm, let's start with six because of yeah, the yeah, yeah. Onami. Yeah, yeah. But is there the argument for the if they trigger bash? I think not, because we reduce no, no. anyway with eruption, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Nothing. Just okay. vanilla leader swing, minus Kikunojo? Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly, exactly. So if he does not trigger it when even a great eruption on the blades and uh, even play Kuzan. Even Kuzan, yeah. Okay, so he counters. So so let's do just that. They drop in another race, we push him to the node 7 and play Kuzan. Because we are left with 5 now, but we, we push 6 or we push 7? No, I think we are, we push 7. We bring him to 1, it's very, very strong. Yeah, even if they trigger something, we, we still have answers if we really want to. Yeah, 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 exactly. But I think even if they trigger, I think it's better to develop Kuzan here. Uh, depends. We can do math, and if we are ahead of uh, of a reject, then we just play Kuzan. Otherwise, we can clear. 
Mm-hmm. In this case, since you counter, they can which can just go cool down here, of course. Okay, and what do we trash? This point we can trash one one giga more. One more, yeah, yeah, no, no time. Anyway, they have three cards in hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another cousin, okay. Not the best thing. Now, but... now, now the cousins are coming. Anyway, we have clear uh, re re removal on big bomb 10, big one 7, so. We need another uh, removal spell, by the way. 8, well, okay. This yeah, it's nice. been, and, and I think we can do. <clears throat> and now, if he plays mom, we trash. And try to go for the for the game. We we trash the light. No, 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 no. Why going for the game? I think it's super risky here to to trash. Uh, and if uh, game not, does not connect, we lose. I think we can just give and, and keep poking uh, because we have a clear r r removal. For because enemy. we have the answer, right? Okay. Yeah. Exactly. If we would be low on hand, it would be different. But with this board, yeah. we cannot really threaten. Okay. Exactly. And um, Kuzan stays, so it's already free reduction on, on Lin Lin. Absolutely. We can go 5 first with Kuzan, reduce with Big Mom. See what it triggers. 5 okay, again, really with Big nothing. Mom. So with Reader, we put him on 2, right? And uh, the Big Mom on 2. Yeah. Okay, they take. And now we can even force out Fuzan Amar Muraguma. Or even Giko Moria. What Giko Moria does here? Giko Moria Luchi here is okay too. Giko Moria Luchi. Luchi and, um... and, then, and we can discard Tashiji and search with her. And yeah, and search with Tashiji, yeah. If we want to. And we keep Muraguma, yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah, and keep, and keep uh, Muraguma in case of any uh, triggers next yeah. turn. Yeah, it's a good a good spot for Giga Moria, yes, absolutely. We discard the first uh, Tashiji so we can play up with Giga Moria. Mm, but wait, um, do we want to swing 5 with Brenu, maybe? Because we are at 10 down, right? And we are ah, yeah, clearing. Yeah, because now, yeah, yeah, we are, we are, yeah, yeah, absolutely. We can swing with 5 with Brenu, yeah, yeah. And even if he pops for cost, yeah, we are clearing with the... or wait. Mm. If he pops, then yeah, we do greater option. Uh, ah, down, okay. So. We still have an option open. Yeah, yeah. And then we can develop something else. Yeah, okay. Five here. Yeah. Most likely it's gonna counter anyway. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And now we, yeah. we do the play. Yeah, yeah. So Moria into Luchi. We have a. Oh, we have to first. Ah. Uh, ah, yeah. Sorry. Was too, too fast. Okay. Yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter a lot. Then just Suru, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, that was the mistake. So Trash Kuzan here, just for the yeah, yeah. Uh, for the counter. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. But yeah, yeah, I was already thinking about Moria play. I got a little too excited. <laughs> yeah, with Sabo we will be completely chilling because next turn we have just clear, clear removal on uh, on Big One Ten. Then we can Sabo and it's GG. Mm. Without Sabo, we're still risking. Uh, okay, this one dies. Whatever. Yeah, we're no. still risking reject Amari next turn. Do we have a sub with the trash? No, but we, if we play Rebecca, we can even. No. So let's take Sheila just to see if we find Sambo here for sure. Mm, wait, once again, what we trash? Sheila, do not counter to see if we find Sambo. No, we have okay. found this. So here, there is two ways to go about this. For sure, we have an easy clear on Ming Mom 10. Mm -hmm. And also clear on whatever it triggers. Yeah, Except and depending on, on counters, we can go for the oh, game yeah. even. 
Yeah, so I think here we'll start with five just to keep our wash option open. Five with Kuzan. So we can either go Rebecca Borsalino, I'm not gonna go around the blades, or uh, uh, we can go for Little if it takes, for example. We die from, uh, okay, if it takes, then I think we're going for Little easily. So we swing 9 okay. or do we swing with Luchi first because of uh, Onami? No, if he triggers a run, he lost, he lost because we can do 15 and he has 5 cards in hand. Mm. So yeah, 2, 4, 6, 8, both. 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah just 9 just and check nine. him, right? Yeah. If he wants to counter. We take. So yeah, doesn't and matter at this yeah. point. Yeah. Exactly, exactly, exactly. We also had 2 hand blades in hand, so it was mathematical, even if he takes. Mm. No one was the only one. Yeah, but still it would be... 17, so 17 is mathematical. Yeah, would be would be exact. That doesn't matter the hand, even if everything is tokey. But we will uh, we will not die like next turn, even if we play the safe, we will die only from reject Amaramar, which is incredible combination of cards, of course. Yeah, but if yeah we have that, stuff, that's what know. I was counting in, in head in head that even if we but if we have Sabo, we just never die and we can go safe because we clear bomb, we play Sabo and the GG. In matter of fact, Sabo was our top deck yet. <laughs> hmm. So maybe we would have gone a greater option to find Sabo and we would have even find it, but whatever. Since it takes, or once it takes on the five, it's, uh, it's pretty much over because we can go for lethal. Unless he triggers something and then we can go for the safer play. Yeah, that was pretty telling when he took the, the cousin swing. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. He always counters it, yeah. Okay, should I go one more or how are we with time? Because I, I'm not sure when we started. Exactly. Yeah, I think we have time. We should have time for one more. Probably. Okay, then I just queue up not to waste time. Hmm, Uta. Yeah, a lot of different decks. That's fun. Okay, good, Uta is a new one. Good preparation. Uh, how would you go here actually? Because I also have mixed opinions. First or, or second? <clears throat> Probably still second, I guess, Uta, yeah. Still second because of 8 cost kit? Uh, and yeah, 10 cost Doffy? Potentially. Yeah, not so because of our, our Gekko Mario and Kurve is super strong against Uta, I think. Okay. Didn't test a lot, a lot against Uta, but... So, oh, as asked, Moria in hand, Tashigi for search, 2k counter and reducers keep. Yeah, yeah, I think we can keep this one. We already have uh, a lot of reducers too. Uh, for anything in terms of that. Maybe if you can, you can later just summarize for me. I mean, yeah. if you can write me or something, um, the matchups first, second, plus Mulligan, if it's not too much to ask. No, no absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so um, we don't have turn to play again. Um, so Tashigi to search deeper. Yeah, exactly. Like, like in the previous um, game. And we have the Borsa, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can play, take, take the Borsa and play him, yes. Sorry. Oh, question, is what we question is, what, what do we ditch here? Probably HOP. Yeah, Vergo, probably. Vergo, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Luchi. But if they play. On seven, they play Luffy. How do we answer with Moria and 8k? We take always, right? No, no reason not to. No, yeah, definitely 8k. We just take. And eight they eight drew eight. 2k counter. Okay. So just swing, develop Borsa, but I think we are trashing first in case of Kuzan. Or are we not playing Kuzan into Uta because of the backlight? I'm not sure because I didn't test against Uta a lot but uh, probably Kuzan can be a pretty strong play on 6 down just before he plays kid seven, Luffy 7 mm, yeah that, that, that was my, my question for the 8 cost uh, Moria on curve but how we answer so, the, the Luffy then without well, Kuzan I think even, even if we find Kuzan we're gonna play it after next turn not... yeah, yeah, yeah okay uh, so swing first and... anyway yeah, for sure we're swinging, yes. Okay, takes. But what do we trash? 
Do we have plenty of production anyway. I think we can trash Regina here. Regina, right? Regina. Yeah, I am. And we go for Borsalino. Cool, done, cool, done. No, mm, unfortunate. Borsalino. Maybe next turn. Yeah, you have, we have still two cards to draw for cool, done. Here I would counter. And yeah, I, I think counter with Tsuru actually to have some setup for Moria if needed. Yeah, we can actually. We can counter with Tsuru. We're not gonna play far from him uh, anyway. Because we have enough um, reducers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now. Oh, Zoro. I was expecting Nami at least. Okay, draw. Okay. We can search for Kuzan if we want to. Yeah, I think we search and if we if we don't find Kuzan, we just uh, remove the Zoro. So first Tashigi, then trash from hand. Or. Yeah, yeah, probably yeah. First Tashigi because here for, for, from here I, don't, I will not really trash anything. I will not trust. Uh, let's first Tashigi to 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 have a better understanding of, of where we're going. Hmm. So two targets, Ice Age and Virgo. I think it's strong because uh, they play big bodies. Yeah, Luffy and yeah, I think here we take Ice Age probably. Yeah, because we're still healthy, also, and we have two K in hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. even for ten turn, uh, Ice Ice uh, Gekomoria is disgusting. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I think we clear here for sure. But uh, we clear with the um, Hound Blaze to, to push more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we don't develop Luchi here. No. Or do I we trash we... first? Because we can still, we can still trash. But, we, but we can have... also draw with Eruption first if we want to. Yeah, I think we draw first because I think I think whether or not we're, we're gonna play Luchi the turn uh, the turn after. Because we have the other one more, so probably we're gonna draw Hitar 10 on. Hmm. Okay. And now it's the Kuzan. Kuzan, okay. okay. Uh, there is an argument here to just play Kuzan and just leave it be. Hmm. Yeah, Trash Luchi, play Kuzan, swing five. Okay. Yeah, next turn, do we have a map in the trash? No, it's Suru. Suru. And next turn, so we have minus four, and minus five, and minus two. Minus five, and minus two, we can clear the Luffy and uh, Nami, for example. Mm. Which is... Yeah, I think uh, we uh, I think we play, we attack first, we play Kuzan, and then we decide. Oh, yeah, what to trash. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so swing first. Yeah. But we, we keep Borsalino standing, right? There's yeah. no reason to swing with so many cards in hand. Here, um, pudding would Mostly be yes, perfect. And then after, so Borsalino can get a free, a free block on the mm. five. If he plays Luffy. Yeah, yeah. Can play good okay. Kino. Yeah. Trash Kino? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Borsalino blocker. Okay. And I think it's also a tough turn. For, for the Uta player here. Because yeah, Borsalino because... is standing, we can free block, right? Because if he swings 5 here, for me he's playing Luffy, like, for sure. I don't think he's biting push into into Borsa, what do you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if he does, it means he's not playing Luffy, so it's fine. Yeah. We can just, yeah. Just free block, no, no reason not to. And if he swings uh, six here, then we have a counter anyway. Yeah, right. One K with yeah. Borza. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. No Luffy, depending on he what he has in hand. Okay, the full combo, but no Nami with Uta. Okay, mm -hmm. let's see. So there is an argument, I would say. Mm -hmm. Bide the block with the 5k mm -hmm. swing anyway, and we still have option for Hound Blaze if we really want to. But I because next know. turn, Ice Ice Gekomori, I think, I think it's amazing. Ice Ice mm. Gekomori, it's uh, disgustingly strong. Yeah, that, that, that's my reasoning as well. 
and uh, now we can just play with uh, with Kuzan and Alan the Blades too. Mm. Uh, so I think if we want to do that now, we discard the Lucci for sure to prepare, to prepare our trash. Yeah, I mean, regardless of the play, we, we trash Lucci here, right? Yeah, because I don't think we're playing Lucci here with Ice Ages. No, I'm not wasting the, the, the free the cards. Two. Yeah, and 10 on turn. Yeah, we have Kuzan, we have Alan the Blades, now we play with that. Or even okay, this. Okay, it's this also point. interesting. Yeah, 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 I think, yeah, at this point we can even do six wing with Kuzan, bottom deck, uh, three and then five swings. But 6k into, into Zoro, you would say, or? Uh, but, yeah, but it's still gonna block with Luffy. But so you three three block, five. yeah. We can do five, uh, five face, yes. Five face and he's it's gonna three block, probably. Uh, okay, so just to, to to understand correctly, we swing with Kuzan face, minus Luffy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a block. Bursa okay. and six face. Mm, is there an argument to swing six uh, Zoro, or because he's on free life already, we just get the card? No, I think just because he has so many cards in the end, attacking six is gonna give him the opportunity to just discard one K. Mm. Is very, very, very low cost for him. And he's, he's a green he's deck, so two Ks are important. Yeah, instead of attack six K life, he could take, but taking is really good for us because he goes down to two life already. Okay. And we have a uh, removal for, for Kid anyway. But we keep Borsalino standing to defend Kuzan? Yeah, yeah, probably yes. Well, attacking here. Okay, so 6k swing Sakazuki. Doesn't yeah. matter what do we minus, right? Yeah, 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 exactly. So maybe even here, maybe he wants to block, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, people do uh, weird stuff when they see the minus. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. I think it's actually good to us for us, right? Yeah, yeah no, it's good. It's and good. now bottom deck uh, blocker, and next yes. turn we we clear. Yeah. Next turn we clear two big bodies. Yeah. Okay. I suppose he will chase Uzan and play eight cost. Okay, goes live. Hmm. Do we want to counter here? Yeah, probably. probably with with 2k. Yeah, otherwise you can attack 7. Yeah. Probably is going looking to go 6, 6, and 6 here. I think and he, then he's, he's biting the, the cards to swing Kuzan um, at the end. Yeah. So now is the question, do we let Kuzan go? Because that was my argument for this swing. If we take here, we go to and two, Kuzan, but uh, we can protect Kuzan. But, Kuzan. but how important yeah. is Kuzan here when we have two Ice Ages? Exactly, exactly. And I think if they, if, we, if we take there, we're just expecting ourselves to get in leader. If we counter, it goes on Kuzan, but it's mm -hmm. fine because we have two Ice Ages, exactly. So I think here, Honestly, we could even just block and counter, and uh, whatever he does after is fine. Because if he goes on, again on Kuzan, he's dead. If he goes on Borsalino, it's fine to just let go of Borsalino. But as, at least here, we're still uh, efficiently deflecting per attack, I think, here. Mm -hmm. So, if it, wait, block wait, actually, or? Yeah, eight turn. Eight turn. So, he's, he's playing Kit almost certainly, almost, depending. I mean, eight down kid without effect though is not really incredible. But yeah, ah yeah, because he attached the don. Wait, he, I, I thought he had nine, but he attached one. Okay, so now he has eight left. So maybe six, six, and seven cost Luffy. Uh, exactly, exactly. So if he's doing another six, uh, right? It's actually relevant. No, just let it die because if he goes kid, at least we get the free block. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's better to, to, to let him go regardless, because they can always, yeah. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And we still have uh, two, two, two times I say. Mm. 
No, actually, something else. <clears throat> Searching for, okay. Okay, Restander. At least one in hand. Another Nami. But it means that we can clear even without Ice Age now. And now, we, and now we get the free block. And now the free block, yes. Okay. Okay, it's kind of big turn for us because he had kind of weak turn, I would say. Yeah. Okay, how, how do we navigate it? So, I think both, yeah, both I now. Think yeah, you, you tell me. I think here we're still thinking about developing the Gecko more anyway, just to yeah, that, that's for sure. That, that's for sure. I, I'm I can tell you what I think first, and you tell me if it's correct or or some other idea. Yeah, yeah. So Absolutely. we have, ah, uh, but he has no blocker now, because we we can swing into character sure, eight k into six k, so two cards or or we clear, five k here reduce. And we still clear with uh, Moria and um, Luchi and even Tsuru if we want to. Mm -hmm. And then keep the Ice Ages to combo with Rebecca if we want to, if they clear Luchi somehow. Mm -hmm. hmm. but, but here is another question. When he said free life, do we actually want to swing the characters here when we are healthy? Uh, I think he, yeah, we, we clear it. We 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 swing the characters anyway because because it's green deck, because, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's lead of course. And then uh, if we don't uh, clear the board next turn, we're gonna we, we're gonna be in a, in a very tough spot with with so many attacks to deal with and no counters. Mm. So we're dealing with the board anyway, and also because the the easiest reason is that is that if we go grind game against Uta, we're always winning because we just look resources better and mm. uh, better ways to to develop board. Also, developing Eco Mario here is uh, enormous. I think I'm looking at uh, eight for sure Borsalino on Zoro, then five Sagazuki on Book reduce Nami, mm -hmm. then Hound Blades, Hound Blades on Borsalino attack and attack uh, Brook, and then uh Tsuru Luchi for the other um, for the other Navi. Okay, so one by one. Okay, Borsalino attack was first anyway. We we agree yeah. on that. Because it's yeah. the most pressure. Without um investing anything. Okay, goes away. So now but we are swinging Brook but reducing one Nami, this is clear. Yeah. But depending on, on this decision, uh, I see. Yeah. Okay, so they counter. So, like you said, yeah. we can Hound Blaze and we can even pump Borsalino, yeah. bottom deck Nami, and swing. Do we want to swing Brook actually? Because I think. Do we have a clear? No, we don't have because we need to invest well, one, more, one more card. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately not. Okay, so Houndblaze Borsalino, bottom deck Nami, swing, Brook. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, they let it go. Um, and then, then, then Moria, yeah. It's just yeah. right. The only problem with this is that now we're lacking removal. For uh, the next turn. But we can dig with brand new next turn if we want to. And we yes. have huge reducers. Yeah, or we could even think about doing a value, value Moria now. But value Moria for what? I think here yeah, we, can, we can start ditching Rebecca, yes. So we start first Rebecca, yeah? Trash? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because there is an argument to even let Nami stay there. Right? Mm -hmm. And then have a better turn next turn. <laughs> yeah, let's see. 
Okay, another brand new. No, in, in this case, because if we do value nooch, it's gonna be. Yeah, we should have discarded a brand new if you want to do value nooch, and we could have done put and brand new. Mm. But it's not amazing because I mean, it, it, we see four more cards, and if we see a removal, the next to deal with everything. Uh, maybe this was a little bit better because now we don't have removal next turn. No? But anyway, we can do now. But, but, so but we, can, we just... can dig for the removal, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're, we're gonna dig after too. So yeah, we can do now just to reach him and go from there. We have uh, all uh, a lot of removal still uh, active in the uh, in deck anyway. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's the turn. Okay, okay, it's not even doing doing key that uh yet. We mm -hmm. just let die over. Yeah, I think we can do. So seven cost Luffy. It's weird, he has ten cards in hand and he's playing not the stuff that we expect him to play. Okay, this is another line that he can just restand and push. Yeah. Yeah, we, we take here, like there is nothing yeah. we can do. Mm, okay. Okay. So we have a lot of attacks. We have brand new to search for removal, but we also can start with uh, eruption if we want to. Yeah, I think we start with uh, we uh, probably no, probably even brand new. Let's start with brand new. See what we get, and then we decide the the most efficient turn. Mm, not too much. Helmepo yeah, or Hina. Yeah, Helmepo for counter. Yeah, probably a map of counter. Because we yes. have Hina in, in Trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we can play on the other map and see what we find. Uh, brand new, right? But yeah, brand new, sorry. Okay. Oh, now it's better. Yes. Any argument for any other pick? I don't think so. We, we need removal no, 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 at this no. point, right? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Now is the, the question, what do we want to remove? Because we can go Eruption, see one more card. Yeah, I think we're removing Rook just because it can apply more pressure. Mm. Really what, we, what we're scared of is being close in the next turn. So here I think we do Great Eruption, Unblade, some Rook, push everything face. And um, I mean, we still can trash from Leader if we need to, to, to find something. Yeah, probably we're going to do that, yes. But let's start with the Eruption, absolutely. Another hound base, okay. So we have okay. clear, clear, clear. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So maybe, yeah, maybe, uh, okay, but uh, we need to reduce with leader. Yeah, exactly. So we do great eruption on Brook, hound blades eight. Yeah, and then if no, no fine, other, no other way, yeah. Yeah, uh, if he blocks, is fine even because we're gonna keep the, the, the removal. If he blocks, is okay. And then we go 999, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Even. Since, it blocked, since it blocked, we can even ditch one Ice Age now, just for counter, because we only need one for, to deal with Kid anyway. Yeah. Okay. Another okay. Counter. And then we can, we can push, push with everything, 899. Oh, yeah. But um, is there argument for the... Wait. Pan Gibson or I, I don't remember which one. Yeah, no, because because, because from trigger it, it rests anything, right? So yeah, so actually we so it doesn't matter. Even... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can eight first. Discard the take army takes okay. Can he finish the game if he has restand two times? Would be three, ten, six, ten, nine, ten. nine. Then we need just one key counter in life. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, so picking Helmepo was correct. Yeah. 
And we saw a lot of events in this game anyway, so I think we have some counter in life. But we will see <clears throat> what he decides. Yeah, it's the, really the only way he can win this game. It's probably paid for that. So if we if we had find some better counters, would it be better off now? But yeah, whatever. I mean, he could even decide to go for kid eight, but kid eight now sucks. Okay, goes for board. Five downs left. I, I think we just protect the board. Like there is no lethal here. And we push for the game next turn, right? I mean, how many cards does he have in hand? Eleven. Eleven. So even if we, if we put, now we put some blocker now, for example, we can uh, Ice Age Houndblade on on Game for Moria, and it's gonna be uh, Ice Age Houndblade on Game for Moria. It's three down. Game for Moria is twelve. It's gonna be nineteen, of course. Nineteen, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen. And we're 5 6, it's not Madevatica, and with 8, it's not Madevatica. Yeah, but yeah, we can just counter. Absolutely. It's whatever, because since he's not pushing life here, it's, uh, it's over. Hmm, okay. Okay. Back <laughs> and we, can, we can even just start with the 5 of the leader here. And reduce uh, reduce your Okay, because it's free, and we are pushing for life and away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't matter what he does here. It's loose, loose kind of. Yeah. Now we are a bit. We we can trash right just to. Yeah, yeah. Let's trash. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. But do we, I mean, it doesn't matter because he stopped out, right? Yeah, we just pump everything into Moria and that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's count if it's mathematical because if it's not mathematical... Okay, just to be correct. Be... 8, so it's 16k. So he can go to 21, right? We can do 19 with... Uh, no, we can do 20 with the Gekko Moria. So he can okay, so he will, be, he, he will be exact, but then we push with Borsalino. So it's okay, good. Okay. That is what Yes, yes, yes. So we don't need a, we don't even need to use get eruption to find another counter, maybe. So we will can be safe next to, to just push. Yeah, but, but we can just just push thanks to the boss, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If it was not mathematical, maybe we we use get eruption to dig for another counter. Yeah. Okay. Nice. <clears throat> okay. Nice. Nice. Cool game. Cool game. This one against Uta. Uh, yeah, very fundamental based. Yeah, it was the, the old way, attaching dons, swinging and so on. Yeah. <laughs> 18 to the 6 and so on. Yeah, the old way of doing things. Yes, absolutely. All right, all right. Do, uh, do we have any last question? Uh, uh, yes, I'm going to write to you a message about the matchups. Just remind me. Mm -hmm. Okay. And hooligans. Uh, do you have uh, any feedback about the session? Mm, it was really cool. Yeah, and thanks to you, I, I had a motivation to start the ranked sim because I was like, uh, I don't really want to play it. But uh, yeah, it, it's it's much better for for practice for sure. If you don't have the, the play group online and so on. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. So yeah, for oh, now I, I need to rewatch the session. That's that's for sure because it was a lot of matches. And yes, yeah, but really overall, cool. super cool. Okay, let me uh, let me know if you have any questions on Twitter or on Discord, and uh, yeah, now I'll go to eat something. Yeah. So have a nice meal and maybe see you in Krefeld. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, yeah. See you in Krefeld. Bye bye. Okay. Thank you. Bye. And that's it for the session with Roberto. Let me know what do you think in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with my content. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Take it easy.